Hey guys, it's Angelica. So first off, I kind of want to say sorry. I know I like I look probably look really bad and everything. I had a practice today and I'm like getting everything ready for school, which is tomorrow for me. But I really wanted to get this um, freshman tips video in before school actually started. And I'm sorry. I know I was supposed to do this like two weeks ago or whatever, but a lot has happened. So I'm doing it now and hopefully it's still helpful to you guys. So. Um, before I actually get started, I want to like, let you guys know that I, I also have a freshman Q&A um, and they're going to be, that video and this video are talking about two different things so I definitely advise you guys to watch both of them. But let me go ahead and get started on my freshman tips. So, the first one, don't be nervous. Definitely don't be nervous. It's really not that bad. Um, when you first walk in, it's probably like, going to be a little scary because everybody's going to be there. And like it's gonna be a lot of people but other than that don't be nervous just um just keep it moving like in the hallways and stuff don't just like stop in the middle of the hallway because it's really annoying because it's in people's way um let's see what else um be yourself definitely don't go in there and like try and be somebody you're not because people are gonna see right through you instantly and then like if you go in there as like somebody you're not and you make a bunch of friends as this fake person you're not then it's gonna be like, really hard to maintain to maintain those friendships when you're not like really the person that you're saying you are or whatever so that's definitely one of them just definitely be yourself and if people don't like you for who you are then that's their loss um people there's gonna be people that like you for who you are and if those people that don't then that's their loss they're not gonna get to know like what a wonderful person you are and stuff so definitely that um my second tip is if you feel like you want to wear heels on the first day of school i'm telling you guys go for it um i know like a lot of people don't wear heels to school because they think oh my god my feet are gonna hurt how do you walk in those blah, 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 blah. yeah um i wear heels to school and it's really not that bad at all it's just like it's just like walking um my feet don't usually hurt but definitely um if you guys think your feet are gonna hurt or if you have like a huge high school campus definitely invest in some dr shoals like they have dr shoals for heels now and like they have regular Dr. Scholl's too, so I'd say get those. Um, your style, it's your personal style. Wear, wear whatever you want on the first day of school. Um, definitely have your uniqueness stand out with the outfit that you are going to wear. So that's one of them. Oh, and speaking of that, also, um, yeah, I know you guys may think high school doesn't have a dress code, but it does. Um, the skirts still have to be finger length. Um, like, I don't think your shirts can be more than, like, um, this much, like, off the shoulder, like that, how I just kind of, like, rolled up my sleeve a little bit. I think it has to be, like, three fingers long or something, like, 32 fingers, um, um, yeah, no tube tops, no halter tops, unless, like, you have jackets or something over it, um, but also a great tip, lunch, lunch is 40 minutes long. It's definitely like your free time to chill out, to relax, to, um, to chill with your friends, talk about it. Um, if it's like your first day of school at a brand new school, um, try and make friends with people in your classes. The classes that you have before lunch so that way like you can sit with them at lunch so you don't feel like a loner or anything. And definitely just try and make a lot of friends, especially if it's your first day at like a brand new school. Um, like, I mean, like, obviously it's everybody's first day at a brand new school because you guys are all freshmen, but I mean, like, if you've moved from, like, uh, Massachusetts to, um, Oklahoma, death like that, like, a big move where you, like, don't know anybody there, try and make friends with people in those classes so you guys have somewhere, so you have something in common, like, something to somebody to sit with at lunch and stuff. Um, another tip is makeup. Um, for your makeup, I suggest like doing whatever you want. Um, I, per, me personally, like, I like to stand out, so I like to go bold with my makeup and everything. Um, it's, but like if you're, um, if you like just want to do simple makeup because you don't like want to stand out, use like natural colors and stuff. And I'm also gonna have a video up for that too on um first day makeup. I have a ton of videos I have to do tonight, <laughs> but that's just one of the tips there. Um, what else? Boys. 
So, of course, you're going to be a freshman, and that, so that means there's tons of new boys. There's sophomore boys, junior boys, and senior boys. If um, My advice to you, if you are a freshman and a senior tries to talk to you, it's really up to you personally, but I'm sure they have ulterior motives in mind because um, I just think that's really unusual for fresh senior guys to try and talk to freshman girls, and I personally think that's kind of weird because you guys don't even like have anything in common really, and then like next year um, when you're going to be a sophomore, they're going to be a freshman in college. So I think that's kind of weird. If I were a freshman, I'd definitely stay with freshman guys, sophomore guys, and maybe junior guys, maybe. Um, the boys will pro probably be like a lot the same, like how they kind of were in middle school. They're going to be bigger, obviously like taller and stuff. But other than that, like just be yourself around them. Don't like get all nervous and just like try and like bat your lashes and everything <laughs> crazy and you know, talking to them. Just definitely be yourself because that's what wins everything. Um, like mean girls, I guess what I could call them. Um... Yeah, I guess like there's gonna be clicks in high school and stuff, but um, not a lot of people are like super mean. People don't like just go purposely picking fights with other people. Um, I can say though, don't start drama with other people because when you uh, become a drama starter, drama like kind of just flows to you, and then it's hard like to not be that girl that's always starting drama. And in high school, people don't like drama at all like that's like I know like in middle school one of our big things was oh, I can't wait to get to high school it was no more drama and then it's just like when there is drama it's just kind of ridiculous so um yeah with the girls um if they are mean and like say cruel things to you um I give it some time before I would like um start saying things back like, if it's, like, every now and then, like, it's just a thing, they're probably jealous of you or just are really mean. And so you can tell them, like, to stop, to grow up, to stop acting like you're in middle school. Like, you can say stuff to them. And if it comes to, and if it becomes to the point where you feel threatened or anything, I would definitely tell you to um, tell the teacher and the class that that's happening or go see your counselor to try and put a stop to that as well because it's really unnecessary and it hurts people's feelings when people do things like that. So that's one of those tips there. Um, schoolwork. Stay on top of it, guys. Don't like just slack off because it's your freshman year. Um, I um, my freshman year I actually did slack off a bit, and I do like really regret it because you just need to stay on top of your guys' work. When you stay on top of your work, everything just becomes so much easier. You don't have to um, worry about the last minute doing homework or in the like in your third hour doing your fourth hour homework because you didn't do it the night before so definitely just try and stay on top of stuff um a tip to balance like, like activities and schoolwork together is you just have to make a schedule and make time like come home eat take a nap get up um start your homework check your facebook really fast and then go to bed or finish your homework but definitely just like make that time to don't just come home and like do straight to homework because then your brain's just gonna get fried and tired. You definitely need to take that downtime because you've come for like eight hours of school, so you definitely need a break. But I'm definitely telling you guys to just schedule it out because um, it is gonna get, if you don't have a schedule, it will get definitely hectic to try and balance activities, schoolwork, friends, and just your regular everyday life. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'm not even exactly sure what else to cover. I think I've covered like a lot of stuff. So if you guys have any more questions in the tips, um, leave me something. I'm, I'm, I really hope this was helpful. I'm sorry if it wasn't. I kind of did this like um, kind of fast because I know I have a lot of videos to get done tonight for you guys for freshmen because they're it's like tomorrow <laughs> um for me anyways so um if i definitely if like i didn't answer some of your questions that you had or you have some more questions oh football games homecoming and football games okay sorry <laughs> um football games are awesome friday night lights um usually friday night well most friday nights you will have a varsity football game 
which are awesome to attend. I'm definitely telling you guys, if you're freshmen, definitely go to at least two or three of them out of the season because they're totally worth it. They're super fun. Even when it's out there and it's like freezing cold, it's still really fun to go out there and hang out with your friends and um, be at football games and things. Um, there's also going to be basketball games. Uh, I'm kind of ashamed to say this, but I actually attended no basketball games my freshman year. But I'm definitely going to do better in that sophomore year. But I, high school basketball and middle school basketball are totally two different leagues. Like, high school basketball I think is way more interesting to watch than um, middle school basketball. So definitely go and check out some of those games as well. Um, dances, homecoming and only homecoming for freshmen. Um, homecoming is just like a, a middle school dance that you would have attended. Only you guys get to have um, homecoming uh, royalty which is for, for freshmen and sophomore there's um, homecoming princesses and then for juniors and seniors there's homecoming queens um if you're a freshman you do not compete against like everybody in the whole school you only compete against other freshmen that's why you guys should definitely get your name out there so um people can know who you are if you want to get nominated so you can let people know like hey i want to get nominated for homecoming uh royalty don't forget to nominate me put my name down or whatever however you guys do it um so that's that also Get a good night's sleep the night before, before the first day of school. Don't go in there groggy and like just super mad because you have to come back to school because then people are just gonna get like this really bad first impression of you. Go in there happy, like with a smile on your guys' face and just be like, ah, I know I'm at school and this probably really sucks, but at least I look happy. <laughs> so yeah, because you like, you just wanna give off a really good vibe and a really good first impression um, to people that you don't know like um the people that don't know you and people that you don't know yet also another way to look at freshman year is um kind of like a new start even if you're going to the same school that most people you went to middle school with there's going to be kids that went to different middle schools that don't know you coming to your high school so there's going to be like a lot of new people there that don't know you so you can kind of look at it as a fresh start um pe my tip for PE is uh, definitely have fun in there. Probably going to be like one of the most fun classes you have. Um, if you do PE correctly, you actually can lose weight in there. I think it's a pretty fun class. It's one of my favorite classes. Even if like you don't have any friends in there at the beginning of the year, I guarantee by the end of the year you have at least four friends in your PE class because it's just a really fun class to have. And I think it like um, takes a lot of stress off the day and makes it easier. Um, choir, I'm actually in choir. I really enjoy that class. If you like, to, if you guys like to singing or like to sing or even have like any of a sort of small interest in it, definitely uh, take choir. But thank you guys for watching my video and I really hope it was helpful to you guys. And um, I'm sorry if like I didn't answer all your questions, but just leave me something like a comment or a video response or um, a comment on my channel and just let me know um, what you guys think. And also check out the freshman Q&As I have up too. So thank you guys for watching and um, also check out the hauls I'm gonna have up tonight and my freshman um, makeup videos. Okay, bye.